you know, he's a part of a four generation famous racing family um, that have done pretty much everything in racing. Welcome, Tom, to the show. No, thanks so much for having me on. It's, uh, I really appreciate it. Was you offering a, a, something different to the big betting agencies at the time when you launched on Waterhouse.com? We were thinking, well, all of these companies um, are called sports bet or sports betting or TAB sports bet. They're just URLs. And I thought, well, I've always bet with an individual as a bookie. I'd want to do that online, know who I'm, I'm betting with. What goes into creating, I guess, you know, what's a, you know, an odds on favorite and, you know, a hundred to one horse? So my dad's a, yeah, he's a mathematical uh, genius. He, he's, um, he, the way he looks about it is he tries to find factors um, to put into his model that the market underestimates or overestimates. Where my grandfather, he wanted to play the man. He's like, basically give me any any puncher and I'll take him on and over a period of time, uh, I'll beat him. And the corporates, this is why there's often such big mistakes in the market early is the corporates have price assessors, but then they really uh, just come up with the odds, basically waiting off the other corporates. But it's more of uh, weight of money and the smartness of money that dictates where that market goes. There's no one way to win, and but there's plenty of ways to lose. I had a few big punters at the time backing things um, to win over a million dollars, and and but I'd already lost two million dollars, and luckily viewed won the Melbourne Cup a 50 to one chance. My grandfather uh, always said everything works out for the best if you let it. My dad always talks about the invisible hand, that every time you get ahead of yourself, the invisible hand just comes and smacks you down. I, I try and live by that. 